Good evening, all, and welcome to Calbarter's Corner for this week's What You Play in Wednesday. I am Lord Calbarter Guiler, a companion of the Meridian Cross, companion of the Argent Lamp, Osprey, and Reaper, coming to you live from the Barony of the Osprey on the southern coast of Meridiers. I am joined today by one of our regular viewers, Lady Catherine Throckmorton, all the way from out in Aidenbelt. Welcome, Catherine. Tell us all about you, if you will. Okay. Good afternoon. I am Catherine Throckmorton, co coming to you from Aitonville, where it is still late afternoon. Thank you very much. Um, I um, have, let's see, well, we're, 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 I guess we're starting with um, awards. I am a companion of the Beacon of the Desert, a companion of the Pilgrim of the Desert, a companion of the Hope of the Sun, and I am apprentice to Lady Cecily Dale Ward. And I've been in the SCA for well, let's just say it's long enough that my S that my AOA can drink. There you um, go. <laughs> so um, one of the things that I have gotten into recently in my effort to be a free floating agent of chaos um, is um, game is um, period gaming. Um, and particularly period dice and period board games. Um, I had nothing to do with that. Moo ha 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 ha. Actually, you did. I did. Um, no, it, I love it. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it was, I, it, it had been sort of a casual interest of mine for a while, but I really caught the bug um, due to the um, game symposium that was run by, the, I believe, the Honorable Clover. Yep. Yeah, so it, it, it's all his fault. Um, yeah. Awesome. So, so, yeah, that leads us into today's topic, I think. Yes. So, exactly. So, today's topic is um, reconstructing a particular Roman board game called Ludus La Contra. And I have, I have to look at it. I'm sorry. The, I, I don't know why I have this mental block, but I can only pronounce the name if I'm looking at it. So, it is Ludus La Contra. Latrun, Ludus Latrunculum. And Ludus Latrunculum is a Roman board game that is believed to be the ancestor of um, Nefetafel and basically the whole Tafel family of games. And it is also um, probably one of the ancestors of Albuquerque and therefore um, you know, ultimately checkers. Um, so like some of the other games that we've had in the past couple of weeks, like Senate and the Royal Game of Ur, um, it's a game that was, you know, no, after a certain point, no longer really being played in this case, because it kind of been replaced by its children and grandchildren. But um, unlike um, some of the other sort of abandoned games that we have, uh, this game, we have not just the boards and the gaming pieces, but we also have um, certain written references. And um, if you look in the handout, um, I included one of the quotes just so that you can kind of get an idea of what you're looking at. Um, I'll, I'll post that handout after the class. I okay. forgot to post the point. Okay. So no, that's that's fine. It, it's not really horribly relevant to what we're doing. Um, but um, Ovid, in his um, Art of Love, um, has a reference in there to, um, and, as a metaphor, where he's talking about, you know, a piece being captured between two enemies, right? Um, and, you know, it's, it's kind of the Roman equivalent of do not pass go, do not collect $200, right? So it's not, so none of these are really complete directions for playing the game. What they are is, um, you know, enough references where, so say we unpack the Ovid quote. Well, that tells you that this is a game played between two opposing players, and it gives you an idea of the capture mechanic. So between the boards, between what we know from, um, 
you know, the Toffel games and um, and Albuquerque and sort of just other capture type board games in general, um, people have reconstructed um, various rules on how to play the game. And because this is a thing where scholars have just enough textual references and just enough artifacts to come up with a pretty good solid guess, there are multiple different versions of this game. Now, obviously, one of the questions that we're dealing with in the SCA is, you know, well, I'm here drinking my Pasca and um, chilling out with my uh, friend Galbarth is which version is the most fun? Now, a lot of the online versions that I've seen are going with the reconstruction used by R.C. Bell. But that doesn't necessarily mean that Bell's reconstruction is the most fun. Um, R.C. Bell wrote um, a history of board games other than chess, which I think is like one of the greatest book titles ever. But, um, and it's also kind of one of the standard books that like any really serious gaming nerd has. So it's like, are they going with Bell just because Bell's what they got? I don't know. So I decided that it would be super fun to just, you know, sit down and play through all the variants and figure out, hey, which one is the most fun? Um, because really all of these variants in terms of being plausible historically, you can make an equally good case for any of them, really. Um, you know, and it's entirely possible this was a game that we know from artifacts and from written sources was played for at least 700 years, like as places far separated as like Spain and Norway. So odds are there was probably a couple of variants popped up, you know, in, in that time frame. That seems reasonable to me. So again, you know, we're going for the rule of cool. Which game is the most fun? And so that's what we're going to do. We're just going to play the game and see which version is the most fun. So I think now... So hey, first up, I got the I, th I threw the rules up on the screen there, so you can go through the first one if you want to. Okay. Beautiful. Talk about it. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure how to blow that up, so I can actually oh. read it. Mm, give me a second. I can zoom it. Thank you, because right now it's like itty bitty teeny tiny. Right. Okay. Oh, oh, too much. Calm down. Okay. Too much zoom. Okay, so this is um, Ulrich Schadler's reconstruction from 2001. Um, this one uses a normal size checkerboard. Um, you have a variable number of pieces, at least 16, not more than 24. Um, the players take turns to place one piece on any vacant square. Um, when the piece uh, in this phase, no captures are made. When all the pieces have been placed, players take turns to move the pieces on the board. The, poor, the pieces can only be moved orthogonally, which is a fancy word for diagonally. It's the way a bishop moves orthogonally. Is no, or orthogonally would be, would be uh, up and down or left and right. Yeah, straight up and down, left and right. Yeah. So, so every, everything except how a bishop moves. Yeah, so everything except how a bishop yeah. moves. So, yeah. Um, let's see. Um, the pieces can be moved orthogonally to any adjacent square. Um, a piece can leap over any single piece of either color if the square behind is unoccupied. Um, several leaps in one turn is possible. If a player can trap an enemy piece between two friendly pieces, let's see, the um, enemy piece is blocked and cannot be moved. Um, and to make sure that it's blocked, it's turned upside down. 
In the next turn, instead of moving the piece, the, pair, the player can trap, capture the trapped piece by removing it from the board, provided his own two surrounding pieces are still free. The trap piece is immediately free if one of the enemies itself is surrounded. A player can move a piece between two enemies, suicide, only if by the move one of the two pieces is trapped. And then when you only have one piece left and can no longer capture, you have lost the game. Now, what's not clear to me from this set of directions is if you are allowed so from this set of directions you're allowed to capture a piece in the setting pieces on the board phase uh it specifically says uh this is step one there these pieces were called uh vega in this phase mm -hmm. no captures were made so okay. during the uh, placement no captures can be made okay so you can't put um one of your opponent's pieces between your own pieces. Um, I, I think you probably could. It just wouldn't count as a capture. Okay, so it doesn't count as a capture. So you basically can end up with like a mass. So you can end up with like a massacre after we've had the putting stuff on the board phase. Correct. So I think so. so this is interesting. Okay. Like when I was reading through this, I saw. So there's there's like three different games I see sort of referenced from games I'm familiar with. So you have Toffle. And the topple variants of you know capturing yeah. is moving your two pieces around the other side of the piece, and that makes sense. Yeah. But there's also the idea of all the pieces have to move orthogonally, which is a, both yeah. a topple thing, but also an Alkirk thing, and, and um, yeah. similar, similar games like that. Um, but it also references the the idea of being able to move between the pieces, but yeah. only if one of them is, is is trapped. So or in Alkirk and in um, Toffle, you can move between two pieces and it doesn't count as a, as a capture because you're the one making the move between the two pieces. Right. In this case, it only doesn't count if one of the two is considered trapped, which is right. actually a reference to a, there's a, a mechanic in Go, um, which does a similar thing of pieces have to yeah. count to yeah. be able to, to count as a thing. So that, that's an interesting sort of rule set. Um, yeah. So, yeah. So, I mean, you, you can see how... Um, you know, in this case, the scholars has kind of gone through, okay, this is the information we have, right. um, you know, and this is what we know from other games. So I'm going to come up with my own set that accounts for all of the evidence, and I'm just going to throw in stuff I think is fun. So right. let's play it, and let's yeah. see if Ulrich Schreider knows what is fun. All right. Let me, I'm going to move my rules over so I can see them while we're playing. Yeah. All right. So, oh, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm short of screen this week, so like I'm having to play off of just two screens, and I'm I'm losing a. Oh my god. Number. I know. I'm, I'm. This is hard to do on just two screens. I don't know anybody does it just on a single screen. All right. So, we have uh. So for those of you watching, we have recreated the board in Roll Twenty. Um. Obviously, there are no ways to do this where we can actually manipulate the board as well. Um. On ones that are commercially available. So I went in and made them in Roll Twenty. Uh, because of the limitations I had in Roll20, we are now, instead of playing with, with checker or tokens, we're playing with uh, skulls and beholders. Because why not? It's fun. Um, so I think I, I will take the beholders if you don't mind, and, and you can take the skulls. And I, I, I will drink from the skulls of my enemies. There you I, go. Uh, okay. So. Um, so, okay, so I guess so let's, let's, let's sort of recap the rules here. So we, we both start off with 16 pieces, which is what I think I've got there. You got 16. Um, they're both they're starting off off the board, and we'll place them during phase one, taking turns back and forth. And then during phase two, we move orthogonally, trying to capture pieces. Um, so the one thing we're gonna have trouble with is 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 flipping them over to mark them as trapped. Um, what we can do is I can mark them with a uh, an aura, or a, I'll put a, a marker like I did for the the, the ducks. We'll see later. Um, so just keep an eye out if we see one that's trapped. Let me know, and I'll mark it for us. Okay, we I can't think. Believe I, have, I think I might have the wrong screen up because my piece oh, you do is, you do yeah. hang tight just a second I can fix that okay cool I have to move you back to the uh, players okay Bam. okay cool yeah you should be on the right one so so this is Schrader okay yeah. all right so if you uh, I will let you place first if you'd like so grab one of your skulls and throw it somewhere okay all right. Let's see here. 
I will warn you that I play a lot of games enthusiastically, but not well. Okay. So this may be your only chance to uh, win. To actually win at one of my games. I mean, I technically won last week, but it was a it was a pity win. Yeah. All right, so uh, I'll, I'll go. So my strategy for placement is I'm trying to place my pieces where I'm not actually around you, but I'm one off of, around you. Mm -hmm. um, and that's for for those of you at home watching. That's that's what I'm working to do. Um, that makes the most sense to me for for this. It may or may not work. We'll find out. Yeah, I, I'm trying to do it so that I can move so that I can get as many pieces as possible into capture in one move. Right. So that's my plan. I, I don't know if it's a good plan, but it is a plan. It is my plan. Okay. Let's see. So. so yeah, this definitely feels like playing Go starting out. Like I'm looking for like the territory control aspect. I'm like having to make myself stop and not do that. Yeah. Well, we'll see what happens. So I was thinking, so it starts out with 16 pieces per side. So it's 32 squares. And that gives us, this is an eight by eight board. So we would have four rows open in the middle if we were just, you know, set up like a standard checkerboard. I guess for every two pieces, you would increase the space by one. Or every four pieces, you increase it by one. Yeah, that, that, that makes sense to me. Yeah. So it's always a so it's, if you add two pieces per side, add one space to the board. That makes sense. Yeah, that that, that would make sense to yeah. me. And obviously, you know that this is a thing where a lot of game boards were probably like scratched on a rock. Right, or the same board was used for multiple games. Yeah, exactly. It's my turn. I'm sorry. Yeah. See, the other downside of playing on roll 20 is nothing alerts me that it's my turn. So I start talking a lot and, free and don't realize you've moved. I have to actually pay attention to that. Yes. Well, I, I, mm. I will keep telling you. Good. Okay. I put my skull down. Yeah. All right. There you go. I'm also interested to see how much the edge of the board matters. Because um, that's a lot of the TOEFL games, a lot of things like that. The, the board edge is used as a defensive mechanism. Um, yeah. It'll be, it'll be interesting to see how that plays out as well. Oh, it's your turn. Okay. Yep. I was I was just, just I was looking through the rules for saying because I realized so it, to, to, to capture in this is actually at two turns. Yeah. So you have to to capture it and get it blocked in, and then you have and declare it blocked, and then right. the next turn you can either move a piece or you can remove uh, an enemy piece. So it's like a you essentially lose a turn to remove one of their pieces. Right. That, that's interesting. I was, I was verifying. That's what I thought. That's what I thought I read, but I was making sure that that's what that was. So yeah, when we get done placing, we'll go through and mark all the ones that are considered trapped, I guess, or that are yeah. Yeah, and the trick is that you're trying to trap as many enemy pieces as possible while not having your own pieces trapped. Right. Which is kind of an interesting. Um, conundrum. Oops, sorry. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, this is the game of bandits. So presumably this is like Roman, like, you know, small unit tactics. <laughs> Right. 
This isn't warfare. This is a skirmish. Well, I think it should be your turn to place. Looks like. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was I was counting the pieces. I was like, we we have four pieces. So it should be your turn. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it's your turn. Yeah. I, I missed a turn. I I I was talking as well. I think. See, that's the problem. We get get distracted. Yeah, I know. Squirrel. <laughs> Right. And it's you? Yep. Well, I apparently did not succeed in finding the square. You get it close. It's close. Okay. Anyway. There you go. All right, your last one, and then my last one. Where's my last piece? Uh, should be up top. Here, I can. Right there. Just off the board, top side. Yep. There you go. Okay. Zoom in the uh, playing field a little bit here. All right, and then let's see. My last placement will be there. Okay. So now we need to go through and mark any of the ones that are considered trapped. Enemy can trap an enemy piece. Block and cannot be moved. So if a player can trap an enemy piece between two friendly pieces, the enemy piece is blocked and cannot be moved. Such a piece is called Allegatus, or according to Isidore Incitus, to make it clear the piece is an Allegatus, it's turned upside down. All right, so anything that is blocked by two friendly pieces, or two enemy pieces. So... Oh, this is a better way to do this. Hold on. I'm going to do that on them. That works. Okay. All right, let's do the red. All right, so you're blocked. I'm blocked. That one's not. That one is. Uh, I am there. That one is not. That one is not. That one is not. That one is. That one is not. That one is. Um, that one is not, but it can't be moved currently, but it's not blocked. So I, I'm, I'm going with the idea of blocking that it has to be um, flanked yeah. on either side. Yeah, yeah. Right, okay. Yeah. Because it doesn't specify that, but that's what, I, that's what I'm guessing again based on other rule sets. It, it, it would need to be flanked because... Right. Otherwise, you would have like L's everywhere. Right, right. Yeah. Well, because like, think about it, like, technically, this piece here is blocked because it can't move, right. but it's blocked by some of my pieces, not your pieces. So it's like, you know. Right, right. 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 So I'm not blocked there, not blocked there. I am blocked here. And you're blocked there. And then. Blocked. Blocked. And blocked. Okay. Does that look right to you? That looks right to me. Okay. All right. So now it is so your first turn. So now you either have a choice of moving a piece or removing one of my blocked pieces. Right. And you should be able to you should be able to move my pieces as well. So if you just want to grab whatever if you want to move, you just remove it to the side of the board. That works for me. Okay. All right, so you choose your remove one of my pieces, which that does not unblock any of yours. All right? Right. All right, I'm going to choose to remove this one, which will actually unblock two of mine. Right. Okay, it is your turn. So now I'm going to move this piece down. Which will which re-block two of mine. Block both of yeah. those again. But it also blocks yours. Uh, so hold on, actually, so you can't. No, you can. Su you can suicide if by doing as as so, at least one is trapped. Yep. Okay, that's what I was checking. Yeah, at least one is trapped. So I can suicide that piece. Yep. yep. So because you, I mean, I, so reading that, you also you could word it where the other one, one of them, has to be trapped already, 
but that doesn't make any sense. So right. I guess when so I, read I, it, I read it, I read it backwards. Yeah. So I, I'm assuming that you can suicide if you're. All right. So I'm going to remove that piece then, because again, that unblocks two of my pieces. Right. So that makes and sense. I'm going to pretend that I was doing that to demonstrate that. Story. That's clearly what you were doing, obviously. That's. Yes. Yes. Yeah. There you go. All right, these are again. Okay, and I'm going to capture that guy. Okay. Well, let's see here. Oh, actually, this uh, guy becomes unblocked. Mm -hmm. And this guy becomes unblocked as well. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see here. Basically, my goal is to just get as many of your pieces off the board as quickly as possible. Right. All right, we're going to move that one, so I will unblock here. Yep, you're done. And I'm going to get that guy. Okay, so that unblocks you and you. Okay. All right, so leaving me with one piece to remove, or I can move something. Let's see. Hmm. All right, I'm going to actually say, so, okay, so that doesn't make any sense now. Because, again, so if I move that into there, mm -hmm. it blocks me, but also blocks you. So I guess that wouldn't make any sense because then I'm just going to lose that piece. Right. But and then I have to unblock I mean, there. It's a bad, it's a bad idea, but I think it's a legal move. Right. Yeah, no, I agree. I, I agree it's a legal move. It's not a smart move, I think. Yes. Um, I just can't, I can't see if a, I can't see if a way where moving into a block like that would actually make sense. I guess unless it blocked three, but if, even then, so you remove that one. Piece. And also, it's a way of potentially manipulating the other player. Right, that's, that's true. I guess that, that makes sense. It's if they have, because obviously your instinct is going to be to grab that piece. Right. So that might stop them from doing something else that you really don't want them to do. That's true. All right, so I, yeah, I removed your last uh, block piece over there. It is now your turn. Okay, so now I'm moving this piece up, so now that piece is blocked. Give me a second, I'll mark it. I'm just commenting in the chat here. Spelunks your incorrectly. There you go. All right, we, we got blocked where? Sorry, I see it. There it is. Yeah, that guy right there in the up, upper middle. Yep. All right, and nothing of yours is blocked. Okay, so. I have to. Oh, so we also can jump too. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, you can jump. Interesting. Okay. And, and I don't think that you're limited on the number of squares you can move. Um, I mean, it says the oh 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 yeah yeah you're 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 um, not limited on the number of squares. We are not playing checkers, my friend. Oh, see now. All right, all right. Okay, okay. so it's an orthogonal move, but it's like topple where it's a it's a rook, it's the full rook move. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I got you. I got you. We just had all of our pieces. It, it, it just right. it, for that to become it, it to be for more. a while. Our pieces are so crammed in that you can really only move one square. Right. All right. Well, we're gonna go down to here with that guy. Yeah. Which will then block you. Oh, why can't I mark it? There we go. Block that guy. All right. Right. So my only good move is to pull that guy. Okay. Hmm. And it says you can jump. Pieces can be, a piece can leap over any single piece of either color if the square behind is unoccupied. 
See, so that so reading that it makes me think it is a single move. It is a single space movement. Um, because that then the exception being if you jump a piece, it's still a single movement. Um, yeah. That would be the only like way reason I would maybe argue that it is a singular move versus an ortho a full orthogonal move, but I could see it either way. Yeah. Um, all right, we're gonna go. Hmm. I need my options at the moment. We're gonna jump that guy up to there. Okay. Doesn't do much for me now, but it may in a minute. Or not. Okay. <laughs> One. That blocks me. So I can't move that. Hmm. Yeah, there's really no defending against that now. Okay, we'll slide this guy out and see what happens. So it blocks this guy in. Mm -hmm. But it's not going to matter, he's going to get unlocked in just a second. Right. Assuming you pull that one, which would make sense for you too. Yeah. Because otherwise you'd take my, block, right. my, my now unblocked skull, so... I don't want that to happen. Alrighty, let's see. So I can't move diagonally. I can't move. Hmm. Right, I'm just going to pull this guy. Okay. So I wondered too, I was just thinking about a, a, a thing with this, that if a blocked skull or a blocked piece can contribute to a block, like that's the, that's an interesting uh, concept to look at as well. Yeah. Right. And, and, that one. Got it. and that piece is blocked. Yeah. Jump over to there, which will block this guy. Because, like in this case, like you know, like I'm still technically blocked, but like, could you, if it said, oh well, that one's not can like is not blocked or can't be removed because it's your piece is blocked now, you know? Yeah. That'd be an interesting thing to look at. Yeah. Now here we have a point where the. Um, where the capture mechanic gets interesting. Right. Because right now I have the option of I can pull this guy or I can move that guy up. So that but guy or which one? I can move this one up and block that piece. You should, uh, if you double click on it, it should ping it on the screen because I can't see your, your mouse on my screen. Sorry. Okay, you can't see it, sorry. That guy. Still not paying it. Yeah, okay. Well, just go ahead. Just go ahead and, yeah, make your move. We'll figure it out. Oh, oh, that. Okay, I got you. Yeah. 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 Which so that blocks this guy. Right. All right. And if we move, so I'm now remove that guy. So right. saves that one, but I lose that one. Right. Yep. Okay. Let me go ahead and slide that guy down. Ooh, that's the interesting thing going to happen there. Okay. Yeah, but now that guy is in trouble. But I can move this guy down. Okay, which blocks me. Mm -hmm. All right, but I'm going to remove that one. Right. Unblock me. But that's okay. We 
because I can now move this piece over here, which will let me block something in a second, maybe. Okay. All right, so I just noticed the time, um, and, I, and I noticed we're, we're already running a little long. Um, uh, so I think we I think we have the concept of this one. You want to go ahead and move on to the next one? Uh, yeah, or we can finish this game and just have this be a running series <laughs> Yeah, I'm actually good with that. So um, yeah, okay. So so we'll fit th this week. We finish up Schrader, and then um, probably have time for bells too. If you want to go and do Schrader's and bells, and then we'll do the yeah. other three uh, next week. Okay, that works for me because we, we won't have to be as blabby about the what are we doing? The intro stuff, right? All yeah. Right, um, so oh, I think nope. it's my turn. Yeah. All right. Let's see here. And I'm completely not saying this because I might actually have a chance of winning. Right. Uh, you very well might, actually. I I'm kind of guessing at a couple things here. There go there. And block that guy. Right. And then I can suicide and block that guy. Okay, so it blocks you there. And blocks you there, but I can remove this one and unblock me. Mm -hmm. So so far, I like this. This is interesting. This is an interesting game. This actually has a has a lot of uh, mechanical depth. I think there's a couple things that might need to be adjusted in it, but I really like this. Yeah, it, it, it's not bad. Mm -hmm. I. My, my, I, I mean, it's an interesting strategy game, mm -hmm. which in a way is kind of like, um, it, 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 it's complicated, which is kind of a good thing and a bad thing. Isn't trapped pieces can't capture part of rule four? Let me see. Yeah. Um, in the next turn, instead of moving a piece, the player can, ca can capture the trapped piece by moving it to the board. Right, his own two strong pieces. Aha! There it is. I thank you, Jim. I appreciate it. So that. That is that's that's Luis. He's amazing. Okay, so we did miss a rule. He's absolutely correct. Okay. Um, here I will I will post it in the comments so we can discuss it because that okay. that that is it's what I said. and I thought that made sense. Okay. A second, let me the tool. Yeah, cool. Okay. I, I can't. I can't actually see any of the comments. Oh, okay. Uh, wait, uh, I know why. That's fine. Uh, so in his next turn, instead of moving a piece, the player can capture the trap piece by moving it from the board, provided his own two turn pieces are still free. Okay, so I can. So that's why suicide makes sense. Correct, because your suicide would stop me from removing, but it would. Okay. But it, yeah, so that that makes way more sense on suicide move now. Okay. So we'll just pretend that we were doing it right all yeah. along. So yeah, so they're they're still considered blocked pieces, but they cannot be removed unless the two pieces blocking them are free. Are both free. Okay. Right. That 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 causes suicide to make sense. All right. So whose turn? Yours? Mine? Um, I think your. it's. Um, it is your is your turn. I I remove your uh, skull from the top here. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. And this right here goes to show you, folks, we are not trained professionals. We are but we are but gaming enthusiasts. Yes. <laughs> okay, let's see what you did. All righty. Um, all right, since I have two, so both my pieces are free here, I'm going to go ahead and remove your piece from the center. Yes, well, which is something that I was demonstrating. Yeah. Now, of course, clearly, that's what you were doing, obviously. But no, yeah, that changes things because the pieces that are blocked can't be moved, um, and it would definitely gum up the works a lot more in the middle there. Yeah. All right, uh, so okay. that no, blocks no. that. Right. And if I do this. Right. So then you're not blocked, and neither of those pieces can be removed at the moment. Right. Interesting. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So what I can do now, though, so now it's kind of a race to see who can get the piece blocked. Well, except even then, you're going to have to block it with two different pieces because this piece here. Is right. blocked. Even if you split that one right. over, you still can't remove it because right. one of your two is blocked. Right, right, right. Um, which is so. Here's where the edge of the board matters because it's on the edge of the board. They're stuck right. now until we right. get a something another way to remove them, which is not going to be possible, I guess. 
So yeah. that's an interesting mechanic we'll have to talk about in a second. Yeah. All right, let's do that and block you there. Mm -hmm. um, and I would guess that there's probably another very a, a rule at the end of it's last player to one piece or you know right. whoever, whoever can't well, move. Well, that, that that isn't a trader variant, but there are. Right. Um, but there are variants that put in that rule, and that's probably why. Right. If I had yeah, to make yeah, it. Yeah, you have to have that. If we can't, if nobody can move, what happens rule at the end? Yeah, exactly. No, I think that this one is kind of an interesting strategy game. It's not so much a like, you know, casual. It, like, the, I, I'm just, I, I'm feeling like this is not a casual pickup game. No. Yeah. This this is it is a is your move by the way. I took your uh, bottom piece. Yeah, yeah. Th this is not a casual game. This is like this requires some thought. Right. All right. Let's see here. Which is fine. Thinking is good. Okay. Okay. No, I don't want to do that. Okay. I feel like we're both making little moves. Like, we're just getting things adjusted. Just a little, little adjustments here. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So... Can't jump that. Hmm. But I can jump that. Right. It's your move. Yeah, I'm looking. Okay. I'm, 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 I'm in a hmm, I wonder if situation. All right, so you know what? We're going to do this. And block that guy. Okay. Like we're going to create this like tower of blocks up there and nothing's going to happen. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah, this blocks me. So we're now all blocked there. Hmm. All right, so I'm going to go up, up, and jump. Mm -hmm. to, oh, no, not that one. All right, yep. That doesn't block anything. Correct. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Not yet, anyways. Moo ha ha. Ha 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 ha, yes. Okay. Let's see. But... I can move that guy out of block and block that guy. Okay. All right. So this guy unblocks. Actually, doesn't do any good now does that because that skull is mm. blocked. This guy blocks. Yep. Um, actually, that does me good because actually this guy's unblocked here. Yes. Which then means I can remove this piece. Yes. Which Ta -da! things happened. Yes. Play is opened up, and clearly I'm doing this to demonstrate. Obviously, no, I, I appreciate you making me look good on camera. I, I'm, I'm glad yes. somebody finally understands how this is supposed to work. All right, so that unblocks me here. Mm -hmm. All right. Slide that guy up, and we'll block this guy. 
Okay. Okay. All right, considering I've got these two here that are both free, I'm going to go ahead and remove this one. Okay. Okay, we'll slide this guy up. And I just did a dumb thing, but that's okay. That's okay. You can be dumb. I, I approve of you being dumb. Oh, okay. I appreciate that. All right, we'll slide this guy down and block that guy. Yep, which was not also a dumb thing. Also blocks me here. Yeah, that was not no, a dumb the, thing. The, the dumb thing I did was um, you could have slid this skull over. Yes. What have yeah. you blocked? That, that's what I thought you were going to do. I, I, I saw that after I dropped that. I was like, oops. Oh, well. Yeah. And then, you know, you, you, you forgot that I am not very good at board games. It's okay. But you're enthusiastic <laughs> about it. That's the important part. Yes. I, I, I have fun while I am right. very, very bad. All right. So nothing's blocked there. Can't remove that. Can't remove that. All right, we'll slide that guy over. Line up for the kill there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, because if I move, the, I, 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 at this point, I really don't have any good moves I can make. Yep. Yeah, I think I've got you boxed now because. Yeah, I, I, th I think yeah. so. I, I think that at this point, it's We're just. Slide that up, which will block this guy. Right. So you only have one piece you can move. Yeah, and at this point, it's basically yeah. I can just hope that I can take a couple of your pieces with me. So, so that removes that, which unblocks that guy. Right. So at this point, it's just really trying yeah. to. Get it's mad. Yeah, it, 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 it's just trying to hopefully get at least one of your pieces for the sake of my ego. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to see how, yeah, okay, because I'm going to have to block this from a different direction. Yeah. So if I go there, yeah, you slide into suicide, which will block. Yeah, yep. which will block you from taking, yeah, so I can suicide there, which will delay the inevitable for a couple well, of That actually blocks you there? Yeah. Which, then I just remove that one. Yeah. So. Yeah, and then you remove. I, I can't do anything. So, yeah. So so, so so in this case, you can't move, which would be a w potentially win uh, condition. But then I just do that, and then can pull that one. Right, you know, and then you yeah. won. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that's Schrader. I don't like Schrader. That's just no. Uh, that seems to be the most complete rule set out of them. Um, it, his and Bellers are the most complete sets I've seen. Um, yeah, it, it's the most complete set, but I feel like it kind of depends. Like if you want a if, if you want a complicated strategy game, right? It seems like it's a good one. All right, so let's 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 uh let's see. We're we're about an hour. Um, let's go ahead and review uh, Bell's rules, and then we can start next week playing Bell's rules. Um, okay. Let me pop that up on the screen real quick and uh, see what it looks like. A second. Okay. Or actually, we can just review Bell's rules at the top of the hour. Right. Okay. I'm good with that. Um, yeah, so, yeah. So, the things we missed with this one, let's kind of look over because I know we missed a couple of rules. Okay. So, pieces are starting off the board and are being placed. We did that correctly. Um, pieces are moved orthogonally. To any, to any adjacent square. Oh, hold on. There it is. Okay, so there, there's the rule, too. Pieces can be moved orthogonally to any adjacent square. Okay. So that means one space of movement. Per, okay. Per that, rule. Okay. So that's, that changes the game a little bit. Um, which realistically, I mean, makes it longer, but I'll, I like either way, though. Like that, I can see it be played either way yeah. as a rule variant. Yeah. I, I, I think that the number of squares you move is kind of cool. Um, let's see. So there's your ordinary piece you can leap over any. So yeah, which makes the leaping over a yeah, lot more being a lot more important. Um, although it does say several leaps in one turn are possible 
as in drought. So if you've got a line, you can go jump, 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 but you still right. want to get one movement. The jump gives you a next right. one. Right. Right. The jumping just gets you one. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, so there, yeah, that makes jumping way more powerful. Um, so player can, if a player can tap an enemy with you two friendly pieces, the enemy piece is blocked, cannot be moved. We did that. Um, let me mark it. In his next turn, instead of moving a piece, player can capture the trap piece by moving the board, provided his own two trap pieces are still free. So that's a very important rule there. Um, the trap piece is immediately free if one of its two enemies is it. If one of those two enemies is itself surrounded. Ooh, ooh, there you go. That so we missed that part too. So the trapped piece is immediately free if one of its two enemies is itself surrounded. Okay, so that unlocks you. Really Correct. Fast. So the minute either of the blockers becomes blocked. I kind of feel like we need to do another round of Schrader now we know what we're doing. <laughs> I'm good with that actually. Um, so, you know yeah, let, 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 let's just let's just wrap up by doing yeah. another round of Schrader, and then yeah. next week we'll come back for Bell and somebody else. I'm good with that. All right, let me. This can be an ongoing series. Of... I'm good with that. Yeah, right. just so, me give me a minute. Let me reset the board. Everybody, go grab a drink. Uh, take a take a bio break. Um, let me reset things. Yes, the Roman Empire has claimed. <laughs> we, we 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 have claimed the corner in um, in the name of the empire. All right. Off the board. Oh, missing pieces. There they are. Okay. One second. All right, let's put your skulls over here for now. Yeah. And I got to unmark everybody. It's just gonna be the long part. It's okay. I can do that while we're uh, while we're placing. Yeah. Okay. So right. let to view yeah. the stuff that we missed. If a piece is. If if a piece is trapped, if a piece is part of a capture and it itself becomes trapped, that unblocks the piece that was blocked. Correct. So you only have so a piece that is blocking or that is capturing cannot also be captured in itself. Right. So yeah, so we'll have to kind of watch that as we're as we're doing it. Um, right. So unblock pieces. And it's uh, and so we can still while we're placing we can still have pieces that are that become captured and that may, sort of matters the order of them too they just can't be removed until after the the setup right, phase. Right, right. Okay. Right. And right. okay, and that was I think the major rule that we missed. Right. And that, that and in fact you move one square yeah. unless you're jump. Right. All right. All right. I will let you uh, go first again. Uh, why don't you go first? I will go first then. All right. So let's go right there. Okay. Just excuse the, uh, I'm just going to keep unmarking things here. That's okay. All right. So I I'm going to place it there. So this then capture or blocks you. Okay. Right. I, I'm just going to be super obnoxious. That's, that's why I, I, I expected you to do that, actually. Okay, so... Okay, so now that I'm captured... That then unblocks my piece. But it, but it can't because it's still blocked, though. That's the... It's still technically... The trap piece is immediately free if one of its two enemies is itself surrounded. Okay, so yeah, I guess that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's what yeah. it said. Okay. Yeah. All right. And, and and if the if you're just flipping pieces over, or in our case, marking pieces, it's actually pretty easy to keep track of. Right. Yeah. Cause in this case, so, well, the order really matters then. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we're gonna go there. Yeah. But you can then go on the outside, okay. Right, and then... Okay, which will then block me, because both of your pieces are unblocked. Okay. Right. But, all right, so now, if I do this... Right. 
that doesn't block you because one of my pieces is blocked, right? Right. But it's the same thing that happened to yours. So yours was blocked. Or, or, I don't... Hold on. I don't like that. Hold on. Sorry, I'm reading through this because that that doesn't because that but basically we did, we just reduced and redid the same thing there because so like if we here I'm gonna I'm gonna back us up here. Okay. Okay. So like. Okay. So we were there. Okay. Right. right. So and you were blocked. Right. So you're currently blocked. Right. If you placed there. Right. This piece is currently blocked, so it can't block me because it's currently blocked. Right. Right. Which means mine doesn't block, even though it is blocked. Right. Which would make no sense. Right. But it doesn't make sense to unblock yours and block mine. Right. In this case. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, because then, so like I said, so, so if we go back to where we just were then, of, well, hold on, that, all right, so so yours unblocks. Right, the only way it off. makes sense is if you're literally not allowed to move your pieces into capture position during the placing phase. Right. All right, so in this case, all right, so, so going with that, so if I place that there, right, that captures this or blocks this one. Which right. is because it, it's blocked, my two unblock. Right. That would make sense. It, 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 well, okay, that's that's logical. I don't know that I like it. I don't I don't know that that follows with the I, 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 I don't like it as... Yeah. I, I don't like it in terms of playing the game, but right. it's, if we're trying to interpret Schrader, it makes sense. Right, right. Okay, let's see, let's see what else that plays out. Um, we may not play this full game out because I want to. I want to go dig some. I want to go dig some rules up and see if I can find some more things about that. Okay. I'm oh, sorry. All right, so I believe it is your place. So you place. Okay, yeah. so now you yeah. place there. Yeah. Which blocks? Sorry, wrong one. I was gonna say, dude. Blocks me and unblocks you. Right. Yeah, that's that's. Mm, oh my. That, I, I, I don't like this. L yep. l l l let's just abandon this yep. one because right. I don't like, because I don't like that mechanic. No, that's weird. I, li I like the first game was much more fun. That already makes me grumpy. Yeah, right. exactly. Like, so for those of you watching, what are your opinions on that? Because I'm really, I'd be really curious to see what uh, my thoughts are on that. So this is, um, let me pull that rule set back up. So this is Ulrich Schrader's Reconstruction from 2001 of yeah. the Lewis rule set. So I'm going to do a little look into and find, and we will be back with you next week to do more. Um, yeah. next if week not next week, we'll do it in a future week. We'll, we'll figure it out. I'll get it posted yeah. on the channel. I, 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 I'm okay with coming back next week. Awesome. So. Yeah, let's see what I've already got scheduled. because I'm. You know I'm yeah. We'll figure something out. Anyways. I, I, um, I'm cool with a recurring feature. I like it. Um, yeah, so, yeah, so we'll just be back next week or yeah. maybe after, and we will do our C bill. Awesome. Catherine, I appreciate you coming as always. And I appreciate you watching and thanks to everyone else that, that watched and tuned in tonight. Um, this has been Cal Barter and Catherine in Cal Barter's Corner. Thanks, guys. <laughs>